Now the Australian people will have a chance to say yes to reconciliation and yes to constitutional recognition of First Nations people. The Uluru Statement from the Heart begins. We gathered at the 2017 National Constitutional Convention, coming from all points of the southern sky. Make this statement from the heart. It goes on to say, with substantial constitutional change and structural reform, we believe this ancient sovereignty can shine through as a fuller expression of Australia's nationhood. Proportionately, we are the most incarcerated people on the planet. We are not an innately criminal people. Our children are alienated from their families at unprecedented rates. This cannot be because we have no love for them. And our youth languish in detention in obscene numbers. They should be our hope for the future. These dimensions of our crisis tell plainly the structural nature of our problem. This is the torment of our powerlessness. It goes on to, we call for the establishment of a First Nations voice enshrined in the Constitution. It concludes with some powerful words. In 1967, we were counted. In 2017, we seek to be heard. We leave base camp and start our trek across this vast country. We invite you to walk with us in a movement of the Australian people for a better future. Walk with us. Powerful words, a gracious request. And I say to my fellow Australians, parliaments pass laws, but it is people who make history. This is your time, your chance, your opportunity to be a part of making history. It will be a moment of national unity, a chance to make our nation even greater, a gracious chapter in the great story of Australia. This change isn't about detracting from the 122 years of our democracy. As the Solicitor General in his written advice says clearly, it enhances that system. This has been the culmination of years of discussion, consultation and patient hard work by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people themselves. And what shines so brightly at the very core of its gracious request is the desire to bring us all closer together as a people reconciled this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to lift our great nation even higher. Recognition of this continent's first people in our nation's constitution, listening to their voices on issues that impact them, making concrete, practical change that makes a difference to people's lives, people making themselves heard across our great nation in the regions and beyond, in the remotest corners of our vast and beautiful continent that we share with the oldest continuous culture on earth. 